Well, you know, I don't think that you have the right to be here, so... Um, <coughs> wait, hold on, I'm calling for my back, my slow back up. <laughs> Why are you guys harassing me? I'm not practicing my freedom of speech. Um, yeah, yeah, you're, you're under arrest. Yeah, you're under arrest. Yeah, you're under arrest. Hey, nobody, 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 what, what is it? What kind of country All right, is it? Alright, so who can get it up online? <laughs> get it up. Get it up. Okay. Okay, move on. Wait, where's the cup? Alright, we're done. Shit. Let's see. Who can get it up the fastest? Who got the best shot? Oh, mine was live, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that's using your cell phones just to, right. just to record, I wouldn't just, I mean, my personal self, I don't record. I do a, a thing called quick video. It records and sends off as it's recording. So if they take your phone and press your phone, whatever was already sent to the site is already there and it's saved permanently. It's called quick video, QLK. I mean, it's super fast. So, I mean, as you're recording, whatever you're recording is already on that site. So, as long as Ooh, you get it's access, it's there. They crush your phone, take your phone, erase your phone, throw it in the water, do whatever. Whatever's been loaded up there is the video. So, you'll see them doing that whole act of everything. What's this called? The video, QIK. The only thing is, though, it's free. Um, well, the, 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 the hot spot is made of mine. They're the uh, front and that. And they have two antennas. But, um, yeah, where was that? I don't know. Yeah, well, the, the app itself, I mean, when it's free, all it does is load it up to their site. Now, if you know what you're doing uh, with Okay, wait, 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 don't, 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 wait. Is it? You can load it up to your Facebook or whatever, but... Who owns the video? Who owns the video after you try to crash this? Who owns it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's right? You have rights to the video. Oh, yeah. No, it's it's your video. See, when it's free, it just loads it up to the site. If you know coding, you can sit there and steal it off the site and put it on your site. Now, if you pay for it, which I never do because I don't put it, but if you pay for it, then you can have access to whatever you want. You're able to save it right back to your phone. You can save it to other websites. You can have it automatically linked with other websites, so it's going to theirs and Facebook and Twitter all at once. It does all. It's, it's a pretty cool video. The, the quality kind of sucks, but like in Chicago, we had a lot of police that would grab them and smash them. And, uh, and yeah, so it works out. Good. It's so much better than just recording. I heard they're um, isolating uh, live streamers, grabbing their stuff, and then deleting from the device, deleting the server video. Have you heard anything about that? Nasty. So then Ustream would have to actually work with them to do that, right? Well, you know, if it's, they take the device and then oh, if from, the from the their account and then delete it from the server using the authentication on the device. And I've asked the Ustream to um, archive the deletes mm -hmm. so that they can be undeleted on presentation of uh, uh, proper authentication, but they haven't gotten back to me yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, um, for a moment, sacrificing the you know everyone's attempt. The classic thing is, as you're trying to upload one thing, something happens again. So I'm going to start. Okay, <laughs> 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 get out, get out. Can't be me right now. <laughs> 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 Hey, what's going on? I don't like this. Hey, we are the law. We are the law. We are the law.
I pay your salary. You work for me. I pay my salary. We don't have to fight on the law. Do you know what the law is? What's going on? I'm sorry. Hey, I don't like you. You don't have to fight on the law. Never spread <laughs> okay, I guess well, it comes well, without in your seats, but, um, <laughs> 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 okay, okay oh, you guys, you, you guys, you, are you guys working together here? Yeah. yeah. You, no, okay, yeah. he was trying to push you guys back, but look how many people there are yeah, here. This guy is getting beat <laughs>
But this if you site, keep it in this format, it still records that way, but you actually have to physically take it off their site. By oh. putting it on Facebook like it does, it's just at least getting it there. Yes, it's right. open it's there. Right. It's there. Mm -hmm. you know, so the concern isn't that it's... Because you can see the way it's entering, you know, how it's sideways. The concern is in which way is it pointing. The concern is at least it's there. Right. Because any editor will turn it around. And if you go onto their site, you can automatically turn it and still be a widescreen format. Right. Very important. The priority is just catching it. That is the priority. Everything else is good, but the priority is just getting the stuff on the film. Doug was doing a really cool, good, th good thing too. He was totally showing the invisibility <laughs> technique. Which is really important, you know, to have your energy down so low that you actually do become invisible to the um, authorities. It's I was born that way. <laughs> in a, in, you know, in a high conflict situation where there is a lot going on, a lot of times there is one person who is able to stay so calm and so, you know, low energy that they're not even noticed. And that's a, that, that in itself is a technique for sure. Thank you, Lola. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and there's, you know, I, I saw other people doing it. Uh, Andrea just kind of like, she did this zigzag right fast, you know, Kitty White's over here and D'Angelo's over here and they're, you know, they're oppressing everybody, but she just kind of zigged and zagged and got right through. And, you know, sometimes you got to do that too. Derek was doing good. Mm-hmm. That day down there, I thought she was going to come down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She, oh, she he. Know? oh, he. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he. <laughs> he was doing really good, you know, with the camera and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, Derek's another person for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, um, it's. It's it's really really uh, really important. I think you guys could probably see from each other, you know, what people were doing, mm -hmm. and something. So, oh, I liked your distracting yeah. the cops. To have one person who's not necessarily the primary video person mm -hmm. who's like asking questions of the cops and kind of distracting them, but you know, not pushing it so hard that that person gets arrested. Unless you have so many people who are willing to get arrested that you can't afford to have some people taken down, you know, which is, you know, a luxury. Over here, we rarely have that luxury, but, um, you know, but it's, uh, but, but that was a really good thing, you know. You saw her come in and um, take the cop's attention away where they had to be like, not now, lady, you know. <laughs> is there any... Is there any questions about how to get your video up or how to get your? Um, I know I helped you try to send it to yeah. email. The email address, I guess, isn't working. But do you have a Facebook or a YouTube account? Yeah, account? I do. I have it. Okay, so that's another way. Um, anybody else have questions about how to upload video, like really quick? My Facebook's gonna take 58 minutes for whatever reason to upload that short little clip. Yeah, that, and that's a good. That's a good thing to keep in mind that those things happen, right? Depending on what you have, what you're using, what you know, you're just plugging into a computer or you're using 3G, 4G, what you know, um, it makes th all those things make a difference as far as how fast you can get stuff up, right? And you know, so it's important to know beforehand before you even go into the action in your downtime. That's a good time to practice and figure out, you know, play with stuff, figure out what, what works, what works, what doesn't work, all that stuff. Okay, we're going to have uh, feedback from the low, but where are they anyway? They're not here. Okay, so they're not here. That's okay. We'll get feedback from them later. Um, in the meantime, and actually this is kind of like the end of it. We're going to wrap it up. And what we like to do is a kind of a debrief right now. What worked? What could have worked? online. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what information did we not give you? What What would you like to see um, talked about if we did this again? I don't know. That's all I want is a debrief because we want to know what's going to happen. So. Uh, specific laws like the weekend site if we're out there say hey, this 
whatever number of law says that we can do whatever, you know, and not be arrested for this, like this specific law. That's good, because we were going to ask the ACLU guys from you, but oh, yeah. we didn't do it. But we can actually have the information in ACLU. You know, my video did you want to Are there a lot of people? Keep it in our cell phone. What's the law? Yeah. Then you can just bring your cell phone up. So, Mama, because that would be posted up on the site that you said. Yeah, okay, let's 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 definitely look at doing that. One thing to keep in mind, um, having a lot of experience in this particular area, the the one difficulty is that when you when you cite laws that protect you, cops often don't want to. They, they they just won't listen to it, right? The 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 thing that I found um, actually is effective with them is that they will tend to cite laws that they are using and they're using little manini laws like you know when the park closes or you know when da 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 you know these little key or where you can stand on the sidewalk or whether you're transversing those are the ones that actually it helps to know because um, they will try to use it, and so when you can say, oh, this is what the law actually says, that helps. But when you try to use something that is supposed to protect you, like the First Amendment or a Supreme yeah. Court case yeah. that clearly protected the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, which is occupying the land, you know, when you try to use that stuff, they will just pretty much... I, I, pretty much in all my experience, they pretty much will say it doesn't apply, you know? They will um, just blatantly disregard the law, basically. Um, so, but they do know it. And do say it because in certain circumstances it can still help. Just remember that it won't work in all circumstances. And sometimes it's actually more helpful to know the laws that are against you than the laws that are for so how do you get <coughs> to get oppressed? <coughs> what do you have to do in order to get oppressed? If we do this again, we want to go about it. It's just over over the budget. I'm supposed to be in this area at all. Now I'm going to talk about it. So I don't think that you have to be ready to be here. So. Okay, so right now we're just going to go up there and watch later, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the website is up there. We can go and watch everything that got sent up already. Um, anything you want to share? No, I think I've been sharing the whole time. I think it's the same time. It's a different kind of share. In terms of what worked, what didn't work, what we could cover if we had another workshop, um, all that stuff. You know, oh, Morgan and I talked about how you can have simple free websites where you can um, have your stuff up there and maybe you might want to workshop on some simple free workshop web websites that people can use and learn to put their stuff up. Sounds good to me. Is somebody taking notes here? Yeah. Oh, just in streaming. Okay. <laughs> not by any means telling anyone not to use Facebook, but I think it is important to understand like the relationship Facebook and Twitter and those services have with the government. Like, you know, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not, you don't have to dig very far to like understand that they have, they have a pretty cozy relationship and it's like, you're put, it's like, I think it's important to understand that you're putting a lot of data on a site that like the government clearly has a relationship with and like can clearly mine through very easily. And Which is a good thing, because then it's like they know what the people. Because if you don't speak and they don't know what, you know, it, to me I look at it as I'm transparent. So yeah, follow me, me all you want. You yeah. want to spend your money following me? <laughs> See, knowing, knowing that it validates that we live in a police state. If you're just thinking that, oh, I don't want to go on here because, you know, so that valid. That's, that's yeah, it doesn't hurt to do so, both. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Seriously, just because your stuff can get lost. I mean, it can get erased, but you can it somewhere else. You gotta come that was the point of resharing, and exactly what you just said. It's like um, last year of like um, I think like there were there were thousands of requests received, but of the five like most serious, 500 most serious ones, like 99% of them got processed by both Google and Facebook. In other words, they either requested the site to be taken down.
down, or they request some personal information about the person that was posting it. And in those cases, it's like 99% of the time, it's like Google, Facebook, um, kind of going along with uh, the, the Yeah, I got my one site went down this uh, end of That's September. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Just, just go to your next site. <coughs> that would like, be the yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. So the next site should be easy to get to. Like, hey, on the internet over there, can you just type in megaupload.com? They don't upload yeah. on. I know, but just pull it up because it's, it's a good visual. Ex it's a good visual example. Well, uh, megaupload was taken down because it was sharing, um, quote unquote, some copyright protected um, well, well, stuff. But at the same time, the, it was a really good place for not only musicians but other people that want to share media to share media. That's no reason why uh, Messenger. So, so see that right there. Oh, wow. There's okay. no reason that can't end up on Facebook. And if they can easily do something like that, and it cuts like a huge stream of, of activity and action that people are using. Like that happened out of nowhere. Yeah. And, you know, that I think it's just a good example of like that. That, that can happen to any site. But there's that would make the word for us. And so the more you, you put that out there, that you guys work for us. Well, no, you see, this is, I'm sorry, but okay, we're, <laughs> the government does not work for you, and you have to understand that's the whole reason why it was put in here. This is an this, example of SOFA at work. Yeah, it is. You, you, what you need to do is you have to look into New World Order. That's where everything is at. Okay, that's so. Getting back to class. For our next. <coughs> the idea of learning really quickly how to set up other sites, alternative sites, mm -hmm. so that you can post to both Facebook and wherever. It sounds like a good idea. What do you guys think? Yeah, and okay. I, 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 I also would like to learn how to um, how to live stream. That's okay. Yeah. So a hands on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else? What worked? What didn't work? What could work better? I think we could go into more detail on uh, equipment. Different types of equipment, how to use it. I mean, yeah. that could probably be the next one. Mm -hmm. Well, step by step mm -hmm. process. Are you talking about buying equipment, using yeah. equipment, just, or just, just getting just your hands on the different types of process. equipment that are available? I mean, you know, we got point and shoot cameras, and iPhones, Androids, and whatever. You know, all this stuff. Like what people are using would be interesting. Well, Evert is here um, because the whole idea of getting point and shoot cameras. Better than say like just a very small, small cell phone. You can get that in a more little way. So there are consumer cameras that you can borrow from a lot more, which are not as hard to use and as fancy as the big ones, the big digital ones. But you have to first. You have to take the workshop. You, you have to take the you course. You have to get certified. Yeah. Yeah. So, so let me ask you a question. If if I'm certified yeah. and I know that. Occupy when the little is having a meeting, and I want to record it. Can I just borrow the camera to record it and? You want to give like about 24 hours of mass notice if possible. That's, that's it. And um, the uh, the other thing is to be able to look at the camera. So it's like it's like another <coughs> thing like I for borrowed all of the ones that are in your closest resource, mm -hmm. and um, you would be put on the waiting list, you know, for it to see it's got back really. So a 24-hour notice is good. If you know that something is coming up like a week advance, it would be awesome. Um, the other thing is like what's available at different places. It's like um, certain locations have different towns available, and you might want to check your other places for that. Um, other than that, it's like signing it out. It's like you can sign it out for. But you also have to post it on. Uh, on oh, the level first. You yes. have to air it. You have to air it in order to use it. Equipment. So if you mm -hmm. plan to air something, that's a good time to do that. And then See, once it's aired, it belongs to you. The bottom line though is like if you borrow a camera from a level, the promise is that you're gonna one air the footage on a level first before you air it anywhere else. The other thing is that it can't be commercial. You can't take it, repackage it, DVD it, and sell it. If you do do that, that's fine. You have to reimburse a level for the time that you use the camera. And the time that you use the camera is like you can check out for like a day, a weekend, you can check out for the whole weekend. Or something like that. Yeah. I, I, my question really was, I, I guess I didn't put it right. Like, so then do you? you like this coming, I have to show it first in a little. So how do you plan, how do you make that? Um, basically, you can come in here and use the editing stations that are here at this location or at other locations. You can use your own laptop or home computer that has <laughs> like, 
Movie Maker, um, iMovie, uh, Final Cut Pro. Um, you can use the YouTube editor that's online. Um, it has like a few things that you can do to it. For the level of video, it's like you have to start off with um, a minute of black and it has to end with a minute of black. And before not the last. Anymore. Oh, not anymore? Cool. Okay. The main thing though is like at, um, at the very end, you have to have 30 seconds that displays your contact information and a phone number and or address. Yeah. Not just the email address, but basically it has to have at least <coughs> contact information. Yeah. All that information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Okay, so in, in terms of what we might want to do the next time if we had a next time, what else? <coughs> what else would you like to know about? I personally am interested in knowing what everybody else is doing, especially those that are <coughs> from Hawaii, because we have a lot to learn, I think, about how difficult it is away from here. <laughs> In a lot of ways, in some ways it's harder, you know, yeah. because because you don't have, um, you know, when I know when I've been in action situations on the continent, it's like I'm kind of like, wow, they actually have like teams of people yeah. doing stuff, and they have, you know, organized, blah, blah, and people know people know better how to work with cameras, like how you saw Karen getting in front of the <laughs> while he was um, taking that shot. You know, there's there's more training, I think, in, in other places, or from what I've seen, people have a little more discipline in terms of how to be on camera. Um, so in some ways we have it harder here, in some ways we have it easier, you know, and some people definitely do fall for the <coughs> cops who say, you know, you're violating my personal yeah. rights on by shooting note, yeah. me, you know. On I know that I found this, uh, I posted on the wall for this, this uh, thing right here, it says on Friday, August 26th of 2011, the First Circuit Court of Appeals, which is New England's highest federal court, just below the U.S. Supreme Court, ruled that citizens are allowed to videotape law officials while they conduct uh, official duties. And especially right here, the filming of government officials engaged in their duties in a public place, including police officers performing their responsibilities, fits comfortably within these principles of first, of protected First Amendment activity. Thank you very much. Great. So let them spit that shit to you. Thank you. Thank you. I think what might also be good is a little bit of training maybe for what to say when you're in front of the camera um, quickly. Like see if you, there's an action going behind you and somebody, I think it was in your video where you're interviewing some guy, lights on him occasionally and you get it. But it seems to me that he said just the right thing at the right time and people need to be able to speak. Say it in 10 seconds. I mean, what can you say? Because if you keep saying, mm, on, oh, whatever, forget it. Your time has passed, and, and people have lost that. So getting people trained to speak quickly, clearly, um, in good sound bites is not a bad, not a bad idea. But yeah. again, knowing whatever you get out there, you get. Yeah. You know, sometimes you'll be filming uh, people who've never been on camera in their life and other people. Oh, yeah, one, oh, one other thing that you have to have some skills in dealing with. Um, there's a certain peacemaking element that comes in, <coughs> especially here, because sometimes it's not only the cop who doesn't want to be filmed, but it's the auntie who yeah. has nothing to do with the situation who randomly walks by and suddenly is getting her nose in the middle of everything and telling you, you know, oh, don't, you don't have to do that. Here's how you do it, you know. You know, I mean, honestly, that ha that's happened to me. I don't know about anybody else, but, um, you know, and, and, and you can't be disrespectful to people who are trying to help. You shouldn't be, you know. But at the same time, dealing with other people is sometimes a whole thing in itself. Whether it's somebody who, oh my god, I don't know how many times people have like, will walk right in front of you. Not just like Karen, Karen it was her back, right? So maybe she didn't see you, but how many times will walk right in front of me while I'm filming something? They'll walk right in front of the camera and be like, do you know where the water cooler is? <laughs> you know? Uh, you, you have to <coughs> develop the ability to use hand signals so that you don't have to reply to them, you know, um, or like, oh, Lolani, I haven't seen you in so long, how's the baby? Is Noah still doing poetry? 
tree, and I was like, oh my god, camera, camera, but I mean, that's what you have to do, is point to the camera, kind of like, use hand signals, you know, there's a whole communication style that you have to learn. Another thing, too, that you have to, I have had to do with uh, other photographers that will get right in front of you. Oh, gosh. And then back up into you. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's what we that's what we had. And that was a state paid a city paid photographer and who was specifically trying to stop us from taping. Yeah. So you have to be aware of them and also try and with me I have no mercy. It's doggy dog, man. You're stepping in find the new terms you've never heard in your life, like Oh, really? There's a law called the whatever, hippopotamus butt, or whatever, you know, they, don't, they bust out stuff that you're just like, wait, that's completely ridiculous, right? And it usually is, and because you know it, what I found is effective is to go ahead and do it anyway, but give them the opportunity, like, okay, if you'd like to provide me with some more information about that, da 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 da, da or... I understand your concern. If you'd like to leave, definitely I'll shoot this way for a moment. You know, you can walk out that direction. Too many words. I think it's better to say thank you for sharing, but if you want to call the police, I'm okay with that. And basically, so you can do the take the police too. They I mean, usually are the police. police. <laughs> 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 I don't know why talking about other people. People do come up and say, something like, well, I don't want to be videotaped. I don't think you should be doing it. And you're standing on the street. <coughs> Oh, no, you want to yeah, if you want to get into documenting or this kind of stuff, you also have to kind of understand that 